Welcome back to more Dragon Age Origins. I'm Negative Zero. Thank you for watching. I hope you're doing all right. Before we get going, we do have a book and some rubble over here. So let's go ahead and search this before moving on. Okay, nice long sword. And the Maker's first children. Who were? The Maker's first children. Would that be culture and history? Nope. Creatures? Dragons? <laughs> I don't know. Mark it all as red. Oh. Brona. Thane Shartan, General Mafarith. Are we going to get attacked? Do we? Yeah, I think we're stuck in here. Probably have to talk to these guys. No man has seen it, but all men know it. Lighter than air, sharper than any sword. Comes from nothing but will fell the strongest armies. Of what do I speak? Okay, riddles. Riddles. You can't... What is it? You can't see it, but all men know it. Oh, well, you can see all of these, but hunger. And it can fell armies. I think it's hunger. Let's, let's hear it again. No man has seen it, but all men know it. Lighter than air. Sharper than any sword comes from nothing, but will fell the strongest armies. Of what do I speak? Yeah, it's it's definitely hunger. Yes, hunger was the weapon used against the wicked men of the Teventer Imperium. The Maker kindled the sun's flame, scorching the land. Their crops failed, and their armies could not march. Then he opened the heavens and bade the waters flow, and washed away their filth. I am Kefer, disciple of Andraste and commander of her armies. I saw these things done and knew the Makers smiled on us. Did that just go open the door? No, we probably have to deal with everybody in here. So these guys are ghosts that worked with Andraste, maybe? Now, one of them... Maybe it's this guy? I can't remember. Remember, uh, Laliana spoke about someone who had betrayed Andraste. And I think it was her husband. I think it might be General Mafareth. Maybe we'll save him for last. So they're ghosts that served with her, and she helped Ferelden escape... Or break free of the Teventer Imperium, which is still exists today, but is in a much weaker state. I think that's the lore. Let's talk to this guy. The bones of the world stretch towards the sky's embrace, veiled in white, like a bride greeting her groom. Of what do I speak? Those are... Those are mountains. Yes. I carried Andraste's ashes out of Tevinter into the mountains to the east, where she could gaze ever into her maker's sky. No more fitting a tomb than this could we find. Alright, let's see who's next. An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. The debt of blood must be paid in full. Of what do I speak? An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. Vengeance? Yes, my husband Hesarian would have chosen a quick death for Andraste. I made him swear that she would die publicly with her war leaders. That all would know the Imperium's strength. I am justice. I am vengeance. Blood can only be repaid in blood. Oh, well, she doesn't sound like she worked with... Andraste. Maybe I'm wrong. The smallest lark could carry it, while a strong man might not. Of what do I speak?
Might carry the wind. Could carry a plague. The smallest lark could carry it, while a strong man might not. Of what do I speak? I think it might be plague. I kind of want to say I don't know, but I don't think that would be a good idea. That is not of what no! I speak. No! And we're fight. Ooh. So what do you think it was? Wind? Might carry the wind? That doesn't sound right. Liliana, why don't you, since you're right here, throw dirt in its face. Callion. Mark it for death. Is this the only one? Yeah. Here I am. And then do a flurry. Flurry, I said. Oh yeah, we're fine. Yeah, and we get the, whatever, the unlocking mechanism. Anyway, so we, even if we mess these up, we're fine. Brona. Echoes from a shadow realm. Whispers of things yet to come. Thought's strange sister dwells in night. Is swept away by dawning light. Of what do I speak? Dreams? I thought it was going to be the Fade. Repeat. Echoes from a shadow realm, whispers of things yet to come. Thought's strange sister dwells in night, is swept away by dawning light. Swept away of by dawning light. Do I speak? Dreams. A dream came upon me as my daughter slumbered beneath my heart. It told of her life and of her betrayal and death. I am sorrow and regret. I am a mother weeping bitter tears for a daughter she could not save. Andraste's mother, I presume? Cool. This is kind of cool. Again, I wish more of the Andraste stuff, the Chantry stuff, was spoken about more instead of all being in the Codex, which is a little cumbersome. I'd neither a guest nor a trespasser be. In this place I belong, that belongs also to me. Of what do I speak? Ooh, an alienage? Death? Home? Ferelden? Repeat. I'd neither a guest nor a trespasser be. In this place I belong, that belongs also to me. Of what do I speak? I think he means home. It was my dream for the people to have a home of their own where we would have no masters but ourselves. The enemy of my enemy is my friend, and thus we followed Andraste against the Imperium. But she was betrayed, and so were we. We're gonna skip this guy. And go to the Archon. She wields the broken sword and separates true kings from tyrants. Of what do I speak? Ooh, time? Repeat. She wields the broken sword and separates true kings from tyrants. Of what do I speak? Mercy. Yes, I could not bear the sight of Andraste's suffering, and Mercy bade me end her life. I am the penitent sinner who shows compassion as he hopes compassion will be shown to him. A poison of the soul, passion's cruel counterpart. From love she grows, till love lies slain. Of what do I speak? Hmm. A poison of the soul, Passion's cruel counterpart. From love she grows, till love lies slain. Of what do I speak? Jealousy. Yes, jealousy drove me to betrayal. I was the greatest general of the Alamani, but beside her I was nothing. Hundreds fell before her on bended knee. They loved her, 
as did the Maker. I loved her too. But what man can compare with a god? Yep. And the door is open. Let's go. Um, hmm. Let's look at the journal. Test of faith. Undergo a test of faith. Guardian calls this test the gauntlet. Shiani? You know what? Since we just got that door open, I'm going to do this. Shiani, what are you doing here? Hey. Shiani? Who else? It's good to see you, I suppose. Life out there has been good to you, hasn't it? You're respected even among humans. Do you remember us? Where you came from? And what some of us still face every day? Um, so you're using guilt on me. It's obviously not Shiani. Shiana wouldn't talk to us like that. Using guilt on me, huh? No, of course not. What happened? It wasn't really your fault. You were caught in the situation just like the rest of us. You have a great task to complete. I want you to take this. I think you should have it. Seeing you now gives me hope. For all of us. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. What did we get? We have so much junk. It wasn't a weapon. I have no idea. Hmm. Oh well, I don't know. Oh, there's a... Mangy? <gasps> They're ghosts of ourselves. Morgan, we have to take out Morgan. Mangy's gonna charge us down. We need Mangy. Oh my gosh, Mangy's not even in there. Morgan, get in here. I am ready. All right, and then freeze, freeze these guys. Are you? Can you? Can you freeze a ghost? Uh, Callian, get over there. Oh, the gray All right. Start. Oh. She's stunned. Okay, great. Um, yeah, that's fine. We did not freeze the ghosts? Or did we? Alistair, it'd be great if you would taunt. You're doing that. What else can you do? Ooh. <laughs> Better take out ourselves. Can we... You know what? Let's do this. Let's go and do this right. Let's go like this. Yeah, that's better. Yep. And then, oh, I thought Mangy was going for. Go, go for Loiana. Yeah. Yeah. Wait a second. Why are you not fighting Morgan? Punish her. Oh. We're almost dead. Mangy. Take care of Morgan. Whoa. Oh, come on, game. We're down. This did not go well at all. Walking bomb, sure. <laughs> and then, can we freeze again? We can. Let's go over here. Oh. Do like this. <gasps> maybe get on Liliana a little. Ooh, maybe put her to sleep back here. So be it. That'll work. Okay. Do not shoot her, Liliana. 
shoot um, Mangy with a shattering shot. Sure, Alistair, how are you doing in here? You're fine. Morgan is not her at all. I don't like that they're invisible. And I don't think the cold is working on them. Okay, yeah, you stay asleep over there. Um, I don't even know. I feel like we have to go for Morgan. Do this. Oh, uh, you don't even have any... Yes. Now... Now what? Oh, Alistair! Poultice. You need help? Okay. You need to focus on Morgan. Don't worry about Mangy. Yeah, just shoot her. Make her. Like... I think the bee thing is what's hurting him. Maybe we should focus on Mangy. Let's do that. It feels weird to ignore the mage. That sounds like a bad idea. Oh, she's casting something terrible. Take another poultice. Freeze. Them. I shall do it. Oh, it got her right before her spell. Okay, Alistair, start whacking. Um, let's go back and attack her with something. This. Switch again what? to her. Yep. Go. Come on. Yes. Yes. We've done it. All right. Is she still asleep over there? Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think... She's over here. Take a poultice. Oh man, I hope there's... Uh, we're, I feel like we're close to the end. We're about to get the stuff, so it's okay if we use up our poultices. We're not going to go fight the dragon again until a later date. But I want to save some. I feel like Mangy's not that dangerous. I think Alistair... You need to go... Attack Liliana. These two will stay focused on our boy here. You uh, maybe drain life. Do you need help? I suppose that Did that solution. work? Are you still shooting him? Sometimes. You are? And you have a spell ready. Let's freeze Mangy. Yep. Oh! Did not expect that. Okay. Well, now that we've had that potion, let's freeze these two. Very well. Excellent. And then maybe back up over here while Eliana is still shooting, right? Just finish him. Come on. All right. Eliana's all that's left. Um. Regular, reducing, oh, oh, oh she, yeah, that, sure. What about you? Cast a walking bomb. Yep. And then when she gets, oh yeah, I see. train life. No doubt this had something to do with facing the dark side of your soul or some such rubbish. Did you see the cruelty on my, on her face? Is that really what I am? That was weird. Yep, it was weird. So, we've all got injuries. How do we look? Broken bone, penalty to dexterity. We definitely need that dexterity, so let's go ahead and take the injury kit. You still have that injury. 
Who else? But yeah, I guess... Oh, wait, wait. Where's Alistair? Yeah, let's go ahead and get that fixed for him. Alright, well, that was... That was something. How many more trials? Let's look at the map. Is this the final room? <laughs> this looks fun. I bet we'll have to work together and join hands and sing a happy song to get across. Um... What is happening? Do we step on these? That part of the bridge looks like it's there, but I don't think it is. Try something else. Oh, maybe we have to... All right, so we have to put each person. It's automatically put us on, I guess, not on hold position, but sort of. So if this, I mean, I'm ready. Does this make sense? That's it. That's an actual bridge piece right there. If we can get all the bridge pieces to be solid, we can make it across. I see. Thank you, Alistair. I think we've done it. Make it red. Andraste only favored the clever, it seems. That was actually a pretty challenging puzzle. I was never at the point where I felt I would have to look online or anything, but once you figure out that to get the solid square to show up, you need one on the left side and the right side, or I guess it would be left side, right side like this, however you want to look at it, then it was actually kind of easy. So you had to figure out a couple of things before you could do it. Let's, oh my gosh, let's definitely save because I don't want to go through that again. What is this? By the maker. It's, it's the urn of sacred ashes. That's it. That's really it. So... Oh, there's an altar that we can interact with. Off. This altar is little more than a dusty stone slab. You can make out an inscription carved into its face. Cast off the trappings of worldly life and cloak yourself in the goodness of spirit. King and, sa King and slave lord beggar be born anew in the maker's sight. Let's take off our equipment. And then... I mean, do we do this again? Yeah, let's leave the altar. Oh, I guess we just, um, oh, we're all unclad. So let's go. You have been through the trials of the gauntlet. You have walked the path of Andraste. And like her, you have been cleansed. You have proven yourself worthy, Pilgrim. Approach the sacred ashes. Oh. Oh. Let's do it. I never dreamed I would ever lay my eyes on the urn of sacred ashes. I... I, I... I have no words to express. I didn't think anyone could succeed in finding Andraste's final resting place. But here... here she is. I stand in awe. Really. 
These are the earthly remains of Andraste, a prophet and bride of the Maker. Well, we'll go ahead and take a pinch. Place it in a leather pouch and leave it alone. If we had gone with uh, Father Colgrim, I think his name was, who we killed, then um, he would want us to mess up the ashes. We probably would have had to fight that guardian. Oh, there's a there's a body here. What do you have? Belt of Magister Lords. Ooh, hello. Golden demon pennant. A molded pennant that looks eerily like the head of a demon hangs off this thick gold chain. I wonder if that's for Morrigan. This we could give to Morrigan. Let's see what she has. Does she even have a belt? Nature cinch reduces hostility. Healing effects. That's not really any good. Let's give her a little bit more spell power. And then... She doesn't have any rings on? Wow. Does she have a necklace? Right here? A little extra damage. Do we have anything better for her? Willpower. Constitution. I mean... Hmm... 5%, is that worth it? Do we want this shield? I think we want the shield. And a good ring for her, we don't... I mean, we have one electrical spell. Might as well put it on. Alright. Well, that's that. Uh, let's look around just a little. There's doors here. There's a chest back here. What huh. do you have? Allow me. I could do that for you. Maybe. It's done. Oh, she did it! small flawless lightning crystal we'll take it and what does the map say there's two doors secret mountain path secret mountain path okay so this is is this back by the dragon it is it's right there let's get going if we hadn't already, I think if I remember correctly, if we hadn't already killed those killed those fellas, they'd be here ready to fight us. We will be back. We will take on that dragon. Just not today. I think this is the exit we want. Ruin Temple. Yes. Where are we? Over here. So when we come back, we come up those stairs, take the right. Oh, this was... Oh, I think it was blocked off. I think it was blocked off. Oh, oh let's look at our equipment at plot items. Now we have the Pinch of Sacred Ash. We could go straight to heal up our Lehman, but we're not going to do that. Do we have... Where's our Drake Scales? Is that crafting? Being plot items. Am I blind? Huh. Other? Oh, here they are. We have six Drake skills. And I know if you kill a dragon, I don't know if it's both that one and the. and Flemeth. If you can do either, or both. But I know he can make dragon armor as well as drake armor. I think I'm re remembering that right. Brother Jenna TV, still alive, hanging out over here. Welcome back. You were gone for quite some time. Well, did you find it? Show him. Is that? Oh, there's some dust on... No, that's not dust. Oh, Maker, I am not worthy to look upon. What? What was it like, coming to the urn, I mean? Grueling, there were tests. Tests? Interesting. Very interesting. Perhaps my research will not seem so much like blasphemy to the Chantry now. We must organize an expedition. There is so much history here, it must be studied. And, and pilgrims should be allowed to come to the urn. 
There's a dragon. Can we say that? Yes, the owner of sacred ashes must be shared. Why? We should keep the secret to ourselves. It's not wise. Many will try to exploit this discovery. Hmm. Let's think about what our companions would think. I'm sure Leliana would want us to share it with the world. Morgan would want us to keep it for ourselves. Let's go go with one, though. Yeah, the, I mean, we went through a lot. There was a whole lot of ghosts. There was a whole thing. Should be shared with the world. And eventually, it should be exploited by the rich and the powerful, as these things usually are. I must return home. I have much to do. As if expected. you ever find yourself in Denerim, please visit me. I am not a rich man, but I have a small collection of interesting artifacts. Oh, and I really? do owe you a reward for coming to my rescue. I hope to see you soon, my friend. Really? Alright. Well, let's get out of here. Let's go to camp. I'm going to take a moment and sell a few things, and then maybe we'll talk to some people. All right, I've done a little bit of work. Let's go ahead and dump some stuff off with our friends over here. And I'm off. Let's see, let's turn in... Oh, we still don't have any things to turn in for the dwarves. Ouch. Runes for the circle. All the novice runes, and we'll go ahead and do the journeyman runes as well. Mm -hmm. And then crafting materials for the Dalish. What do you want? We need both of these. We'll give them the death root. I'm a little worried about not having we stuff for the dwarves. What you have brought us, Warden. Do we really need to talk to anybody? I think we're ready to... Oh, let's talk to Liliana. She might have something to say about the urn. Oh, hello. Is there something you wanted to talk about? I'd like to talk about what happened today. It's... it's nothing. I'm fine. I'm just thinking. Do share. I can't get what happened out of my head. I'd been in Lothering for years, and she still thought I was plotting against her. She didn't trust me. Maybe she never did. She loved me when she could use me and control me. And now that she can't, she wants me dead. It... It hurts to realize that I never really knew her. So, she's talking about Marjolaine, not the urn thing. Maybe I should have talked to her sooner. Sometimes people surprise you. I knew she was ruthless, but I didn't know how far she could go. She is self-serving, cruel. She uses people, then discards them. But that's how she survives in the life she leads. What? Well, what if she's right? What if we're the same? I... I should just have stayed in the Chantry. Hmm. We would have never met if you hadn't. You don't understand. I forgot my life as a bard while I was in the cloister. I felt safe. I didn't have to watch my back all the time. That's what made Marjolaine the person she is, don't you see? It ruined her. It will ruin me too. Even now, I feel some regret at not ending her life in order to protect my own. There's nothing wrong with that. Isn't there? It's the first step down this dark path. First thought, then action. What we're doing, what we've done. Hunted men down. Killed them. Part of me loves it. It invigorates me, and this scares me. I... I feel myself slipping. Marjolaine chose who she became, so can you. How can you be so sure? You left the Chantry to help others. That means something. Do you really think so? Hearing you say that gives me comfort. I would like to be alone for now. I have many things to consider. Thank you for listening to me. Sure. I think we're going to have to wrap up here for today. We are not going to go uh, help Arl Eamon just yet. We are going to go to Denerim and help with Wade's, or get, uh, Wade's Drakescale armor thing. We do have a quest for that. Don't we? 
fixed skill armor. Searching the carcass of a dead drake, you, yeah, a master armor. Who would be Wade? And we'll deal with that next time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed our time together. Take care.